Hey guys, uh, Tim here from Spoon Man Ball Pythons. Um, first of all, up front, let me apologize. Um, it's been almost two months that I've been on that I've posted anything. And uh, this video is basically to explain what's been going on. Um, first of all, I have chronic back problems. So since October, I've had three different procedures on my back. Um, this last one that I had done at the end of December is a spinal cord stimulator implant that I had put in that is now blocking the pain from my lower back and two failed surgeries um, going blocking the pain signals going to my brain so basically I can't feel the pain in my lower back anymore um, still feeling some residual effects from the surgery um, there was a cut in between my shoulder blades and my back and then down at my waistline to implant the actual uh, it's like a pacemaker basically it has a remote control that's right here that uh, basically controls how intense it is and how well it blocks the pain um, so that was a big part of why I haven't been on um, had some issues with that so that's pretty much straightened out now I'm feeling pretty good physically um, going along with all that um, going along with the chronic pain um, has been some depression and that's something that until now in my past I've never really talked about it or told anybody about it but um, I felt like with the awareness that's come with uh, with people's psychological disorders and stuff that it's kind of opened me up to to talk about it a little bit um, I was feeling pretty bad about life in general because I was dealing with so much pain on a day-to-day -day basis that there was times I just didn't want to be around anymore. Um, I made it through those times with the help of my wife who has been unbelievably supportive and my two daughters which basically they're the difference between me being here and not being here. Um, they're my life and that's what what got me through this. I mean I'm still not through it. I'm still battling with some things, but uh, depression is a very hard thing to deal with, especially, and, and I'm not, I don't want to belittle anyone uh, that suffers from depression, but my viewpoint as a man is you're supposed to be the tough guy. You're supposed to be the one that holds the family together, the one, you know, the breadwinner, the strong guy. You don't want to be looked at as as weak or having issues, and that's probably what kept me back most of my life from saying anything to anybody about depression issues um, but now it's uh, it's okay otherwise obviously I wouldn't be on YouTube um, you know telling people what my problems are um, this kind of is serving a dual purpose for me it's it's enabling me to talk about it and also for the the couple of people that watch my channel um, to understand that there's depression isn't something you can turn your back on or you can hide because unless you give it attention um, it'll eat you up inside and, and there's no good that can come from it um, I'm working through mine I I let my wife know when I'm you know having bad days or you know having good days she can tell um, just the way I react to things, my moods sometimes, she knows if, if something's going on, so I'm, my step one is just being straight with her about what's going on, and, and we're working through it, and things are getting a lot better. Um, the pain, obviously, my day-to-day -day pain is a lot less than it used to be, so um, that's helping also. Um, my snakes <laughs> kind of keep me distracted and, uh, and, and keep me busy, so that helps. Um, it's hard to explain depression sometimes um, I'm depressed even now without dealing with pain or anything like that um, but it's just it's the inability to just be happy sometimes I guess um, like I said I'm working on it I have all the reasons in the world to to make myself better um, there are people that look at it from the outside. I have a great job. I make good money. I have a beautiful wife. I have two beautiful daughters. I have a house. I have cars, truck, 
you know, it's from the outside, everything looks great. Um, but inside is, is where the problems are and that's what you really need to bring to the outside and deal with. Um, I'd like to put myself out there that if there's somebody watching this that has these issues and wants to talk about them. Um, I guess that's all I wanted to get off my chest about that. Um, just to give an update, I'm going to do... Um, I have three new snakes that I haven't posted on my channel yet. Um, I'm going to do an update on my retic. I got a a, uh, a message from Garrett Hartle wants to see an update uh, after watching my unboxing video on my retic that you see behind me here. Um, I'm going to do an update on that. I got uh, three other snakes that, you know, babies that um, I'm going to be growing up and breeding here in the next couple of years. I'd like to show them. Um, I have a total of five crested geckos now that I'd like to show those off to. So, um, I have some plans for videos coming up in the future. Um, I didn't want to tie an animal video onto the end of this because I feel like this needs its own attention. Um, I guess my message is you're you're not alone. There's there's a lot of people, whether outwardly talking about it or dealing with it inside, depression can can cause you to do crazy things and it almost caused me to do crazy things and uh, it's only by the help of other people and opening up about it that that I'm here and and uh, and battling it and getting better um, but there's uh, I'm gonna post hotline numbers and stuff in the description box also talk to someone there's there's something there's always something to live for what I what I tell people is that uh, suicide is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. Um, I feel like in our lives, if we work on it and we have help, we can fix pretty much anything. So that's why I'm trying to live by those words that I've told other people and uh, I'm doing the best I can. I'm battling back. I'm going to try to keep myself busy. Um, and like I said, if there are people that I can help, then I will be here for you. Um, with that said, that's, uh, that's the end of the video. Um, don't hesitate to reach out, if it's not to me, to somebody, and just talk, and you can make it through anything. People are much stronger than they think they are, and they're worth a lot more than they think they are. So, I will, uh, say goodbye here. And I'll be on probably in the next couple of days with some update videos. Thanks for listening. Um, and take care of yourselves. Take care of your families. Pay attention to your families. Um, if you see changes in their behavior, things like that, if they start to withdraw, um, just, you know, the classic indicators. Pay attention. Look, listen. See how they're feeling and stuff. And uh, watch out for each other. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.